Up on the day is now USC taking the 80 to 73 loss to UConn in the Portland Regional Final. Join us in the post-game press conference, head coach Lindsey Gottlieb, along with student athletes Mackenzie Forbes and Juju Watkins. Uh, coach, congratulations on a hard-fought game and on a good season. Uh, we'll begin with your opening statement, and then we'll open the floor to questions to the student athletes. Uh, thank you. Um, I really want to credit UConn. I mean, they earned their way to a Final Four. I don't think we gave it to them. I think they earned it. Um, Sometimes to, to have the perspective and think about what another team has been through, I think, is really important um, with the injuries they've had, with the way that, that Coach Gino adjusted throughout the course of the year. Um, I just I credit them a ton. I don't know Paige personally, um, but to see that kid be out for two years and come back and do this, um, as much hurt as we're in, uh, they earned it. And I, I credit them, and um, they're just such a class program. Uh, I told the team in there, what we did this year was incredibly unique and something I won't ever forget. And I, and I do think it's important, like you guys are on the outside looking in and all of a sudden, you know, USC explodes on the scene and it's, it's not lost on me on how hard that is. I just, and I haven't cried yet, um, but I might now. I just, with all the things that have been said about Juju, I need to say this. This kid committed to us when we were 12 and 16. 12 and 16. Once in a while, the belief in me and all that, but once in a while her mom would say, are we recruiting this kid? Are we recruiting that kid? All the people she would go to USA Basketball and say, I can't get them to call me back, but we're gonna keep trying. That's where we were. And now look where we are, right? So her ability to do that and make that leap and perform how she has goes so far beyond the tag words that we use. And in addition to that, my conversations this year with her, never once about anything personality-wise, behavior, hey, you gotta treat this person this way, or have you have to learn this. She came in with it. She's beloved by her teammates, she's a winner. We talk about basketball and we talk about how are you doing in life. And I just, I think that's really important to say, and none of it would have worked if without the rest of the team either. I have returning players who handled the whole thing great. I have Mackenzie Forbes and her teammates who came in here and said, let's do this together. And I, I am so proud and so grateful for what this team did. We are disappointed. We had our sights on Cleveland. But I, I just think we've done a lot of celebrating and I appreciate that. And, and I just, I think this team's legacy is forever entrenched in USC history and I hope in women's basketball because it was unique what we did and I'm very proud of that. Take questions now for our student athletes. Start with Lindsay. <coughs> Lindsay Schnell, USA Today. Ju, I know it hurts right now, um, but that was a pretty incredible game, uh, and there were some really amazing moments when you and Paige are going back and forth, and that came after we watched LSU and Iowa go back and forth. As someone who loves basketball, do you think you can appreciate what a moment that was tonight for the game? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's definitely great for the game. Um, just. These matchups, I think, will go down in history. Just, just the um, the tenacity that w that was out there on the floor tonight on, on both games. I mean, um, I was trying to catch glimpses of the other game when, when I'm getting ready, but it was just it was just a great um, great time. It's a great time in women's basketball and um, very exciting. And I'm just glad that I'm able to be a part of. It. Uh, Luke Evans, Orange County Register. Juju, obviously hard to kind of put in put into perspective, like what Lindsay was saying right now. Yeah. But just you know, looking back on on you coming into this program and recruitment, saying the amount of times that you have this year, you didn't expect to be here. Obviously, it's disappointing you didn't get where you wanted to go. But has this year fulfilled everything that that you wanted when you were coming into to USC? Yeah, I think everything and more. I mean, of course, we fell short in the end, um, but. Like Lindsay said, it's been a great ride. Um, I have the best teammates in the world, and um, uh, I'm just glad um, that uh, uh, <laughs> next question. <laughs> Alexa Phil at ESPN. Mackenzie, can you just speak to what you thought the difference was in the game? Why went it down the way it did? Um, I don't know exactly, obviously, look at the film, but, you know, 
they're in, they're a great, really good team. You you can tell when you're out there playing them. They know exactly what they want to get to. Um, if you guard any single action the wrong way, if you try to take a short cut, shortcut, they capitalize on it. Um, you know, and I think they just capitalize off off every one of our mistakes. You know, I thought we we battled to the end, but um, I think they were just the better team today. Uh, Casey Caslin, our Daily Trojan, Mackenzie, it's your last hurrah coming into the, uh, as a graduate. <clears throat> How does it feel to be on such a historic team, kind of closing out your co collegiate career here? Um, yeah, like you said, like it's an amazing group. Um, I'm just really grateful to end my career with, with Coach G um, and to be able to kind of rewrite like the history of, of what USC women's basketball is and can be in the future. Um, yeah, j just grateful. Duke, you know, when with the LA Times, Juju, what did you think of uh, going against Nika? What, what made her such an uh, effective defender today? Um... I would I would just say the team the team played uh, great defense. I think um, every time I got past the first line, somebody was there. So I had to try to find my teammates. Um, so that was pretty much it. Leslie Chanel, you say today, Ken's. I I wondered, is it for sure? Are you done? Technically, couldn't you push for another year, or are you ready to go? I'm I'm done. Be an adult. Okay. Uh, Mackenzie, you, you obviously took the, the page matchup tonight, um, one of the more difficult matchups that there is in, in college basketball. It, what was your mentality just going into that and last game, but, but how fun was it to kind of play this and go back and forth with her? Yeah, she's a great player. Um, I think going into it, I was just really focused on, like I said, guarding every action the right way um, in terms of like, if I'm going over to go over, you know, kind of when she gets rid of the ball, get into her body and make her go the way that we want her to go. Um, you know, I did the best that I could. I think, like I said earlier, any time that you have a, a short mental lapse, she capitalizes on it. I think that's what makes her really good. She's very good at making reads. Um, and she's a, she, she, had, she made tough ones, you know. Um, I thought we, we did the best that we could uh, as a team. But, yeah, like you said, great player. I, um, I have a lot of respect for her. Thomas Johnson, Daily Trojan. Juju, I know it's just shortly after the game, but is there anything you can take away from this game and learn and apply that to your future career at USC? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, just coming up short, I think that adds a lot of fuel to the fire for the next couple of years. Um, I'm just excited to go back home and get in the gym now. And I'm really focused on um, learning from this season as a whole and um, things I can improve on, definitely my efficiency and stuff like that. Um, but I'm just grateful for this year because I've, I've learned a lot. So. Alexa and then Kevin. Um, Alexa Phil through ESPN. Mackenzie, what excites you the most about the future that USC has with Juju leading the way and, and everyone else that will return or come in? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I told her on the way here, like, you know, these people got to deal with you for three more years. And if I was a coach, that would be my worst nightmare. So I think I'm um, just really excited to see her grow. She has as in, incredible as incredible as she is, like, it's scary because she can still get so much better. Um, but I think more than uh, how good she is, like Coach G kind of alluded to, like, it's really rare that you get a superstar that can come in. She's selfless. She's mature. She's fear. She's a winner. She only cares about winning. Um, she's fucking 18 years old. Sorry, excuse my language. Um, but seriously, like I, I would want to be her teammate every day of the week. Like I, I truly mean that. So I think um, this program couldn't be in better hands uh, than with her. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just grateful that I got to uh, be a small part of her journey, and I think. Uh, SC women's basketball is in great hands. Kevin, you'll have our last question for the student athletes. Uh, Kevin Pelton, ESPN.com. Uh, Juju, obviously not what's important tonight, but you did set the single season freshman scoring record. When kind of this emotion fades, what, what does that mean? Um, definitely an honor. I mean, of course, like, like I said, like, not really the terms I would like to end on on my season, but 
I mean, I'm just blessed. Um, this program has just offered me a lot. Um, I'm so grateful for it. Um, and it's just been a great season. And um, the record is great, but um, just just the moments that I've got to spend with this team have, have meant everything to me. And um, uh, I'm excited for next year. Yeah. Mackenzie Juju, thank you very much for your time. Congratulations <laughs> on a great season. Thank you. Thanks. Floor is open now to questions for Coach Gottlieb. We'll start with Lindsay. Lindsay Schnell, USA Today. Lindsay, you've coached a lot of great players, obviously Jew, but I think about like Lasia when you went on your final four run at Cal. What separates Paige? What makes her different? Um, I mean, she's really tough to guard in a lot of ways because of the movement. Uh, you know they do a phenomenal job, and, and he has for so long with all these great players that he's that he's had. It's it's not easy to game plan because they're on the move a lot, um, and I think that's that's um, a critical piece of it. I, I think she's got everything in the arsenal. Obviously, she can shoot it, she can pass it. Um, you know, she's very fluid in transition. She's just a tough cover in a lot of ways. Um, and it sounds crazy to say. You know, with her numbers, there were times that I thought we really guarded the actions well, and she made some tough shots. And then, you know, I think they got us in transition off of some of our turnovers. And, you know, you can't, a player like that, you can't let her get anything easy because she's even going to make the tough ones at times. And so I think that's where we faltered a little bit. But um, she's just a tough shot maker and a great all around player. Uh, Casey Kaslander, Daily Trojan. Coach, obviously an emotional time. Sorry, I can't. Oh. Where, oh, sorry. Obviously an emotional time for the team right now. Yeah. Um, as the coach, head coach, how do you sort of transition the mindset from that's not the result we wanted to let's we're back to square one, let's focus on next season? Yeah. I mean, I don't think emotion's a bad thing, right? Um, you know, you cry or you have emotion because you care, because you really wanted something, and we came up short tonight. But I did tell him in there, I've coached for a long time, like we did a lot more celebrating than some teams get to do. Uh, certainly, you know, the confetti at the Pac-12 tournament and winning that is huge, but there were other celebrations. Like, we were on, were on the up rise, right? So we celebrated uh, the win at Stanford, and, you know, we celebrate a win at home against Colorado or whatever happened along the way, the UCLA win at home. You know, we've had a lot of moments like that, and I, I think I want them to really feel the emotion. We've had a lot more joy than sadness, but this one really hurts. I think there's a time for this. And then with the way that... College athletics is now we have a lot of seniors that the, the seniors go and a new group comes in and we reset and say, what are our goals? But obviously now, you know, this is going to be the standard. And so I hope we're still able to enjoy the moments because, you know, now we're going to be in a different probably, even though we're going to be so young next year, we're going to be in a different stratosphere where this is the standard. And so that's going to drive us. And I know that we'll, you know, we'll respond accordingly. Uh, Terrence Holton, Annenberg Media. Coach, you've referred to the Ivy League transfers as the nerds all year. What is the lasting effect the nerds have had on this program? I mean, I would say all of our seniors, I know they get the most attention. They have made it an absolute joy to come to work every day. I, I, I you know, we're with this group like 24 seven, quite honestly, and to have such incredible people, I mean, they were selfless. They're hoopers, they're big time players, they're competitors. I think everyone in that locker room who had an opportunity to play with them will be better for it. And I think that's their, their lasting impact. And I'm just, I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to coach them for this year. And I know we'll, we'll be connected, you know, forever after. Uh, Lindsay, just, you know, what, what was the- Name and affiliation. Oh, sorry. Luke Evans, Orange County Register. Lindsay, just what was the, uh, decision making behind having McKenzie kind of take on the, the, the Paige matchup for you know the, the most of the night and, and especially when Paige kind of got going in that fourth quarter was there any thought to putting Juju on her and, and trying yeah. to disrupt that a little bit? I mean we were supposed to be switching a little bit more than we did um, you know I think it's hard to at this point of the season where you're in you know like this type of game to do a ton of stuff different than what your kind of go-to defensive schemes are but we also haven't played a lot of players like Paige so the idea was anytime she was coming off something we were supposed to switch so there were time with whoever uh, so there were times at which you know the coverage didn't go exactly as we had wanted um, and obviously in transition things were were different but um, you know we started switching all ball screens at the end which trying to get different bodies on her but um, 
uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll watch the film and say, here, there, the next place we could have done something different, but the idea is we were supposed to have a lot of different multiple bodies on her. Sabrina? Sabrina Merchant, The Athletic. Uh, Coach, you've talked about how well your team has stepped up to new situations all season. Um, did it feel like you guys were a little rushed today, or was that just UConn, you know, bringing it? Yeah, I mean, I don't – I mean, to me, in it, I felt like it was – the game, right? Like the, the actual technical aspects of what were going on. I mean, they, they cut so hard, they play so hard, you have to, you know, be at that pace. Um, but, you know, uh, in watching it, I think we, we didn't shoot it as well as we normally shoot it. Um, and I, I give you kind of a lot of credit for that. But, you know, we haven't been on this stage. So, um, you know, Coach B actually said in the locker room, to be a champion, you have to beat a champion. And we had to beat Stanford in the Pac-12 tournament, who is a longtime champion. And that's kind of ingrained. And obviously here, UConn is a championship team. I know they haven't won it in the last couple of years, but when things are ingrained, and so maybe there's some learning we have to do there of what it takes. Um, but for the most part, I felt like this was a really good basketball game. And they, they, they beat us. You know, like they did a little bit better of what they do than, uh, than what we do. I, I actually thought, you know, if when you look at the stat lines, like, the, the star players or whatever, like the, the stats are, are, are relatively similar, I think. They got production from some places that's going to keep me up at night, um, you know, that, that wasn't um, Aaliyah and, and, and Paige. Um, and, and we just didn't get enough or we didn't get enough stops or they went on that early run in the third and we had to fight back too many times. We weren't playing from ahead uh, very long after that first quarter. Alexa. Alexa Phil to the ESPN. I remember even Juju's first loss of the season, how she was crying up there with you guys and media. And obviously now I'm sure this – loss hurts too for her. How do you think she'll respond from this and how do you think this could drive her? Um, I mean, I've only ever seen her respond to anything adverse in incredibly positive ways. I mean, she is, um, she works harder than anyone I know. Um, her mind is always in the right place. I think she's going to have to take on some different things, right? Like now it's going to be more her team and leadership and things that are not just basketball related that I'm excited um, for her to, to, to really walk into everything that's coming for her. But there's no question in my mind that you give her something adverse and she's going to use that to just get better. And, you know, as Kenzie said, that's, I think, a little scary for, for everyone else. Uh, Thomas Johnson, Daily Trojan. Coach, you're losing a couple seniors, a couple graduates, but you're bringing in a lot of highly rated players. Just how excited are you about the trajectory of this program and how an Elite Eight run will uh, vault you guys forward? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's one of the things I said to them there. They have completely changed a narrative about a program. Um, and that's like really powerful. You know, the, the way that the country is going to see USC women's basketball is, is really different than it was, you know, four months ago. Um, and that's a powerful thing for the group here. So I think their legacy is that they got us somewhere. And now it's on all of us to say, what's next? We were not trying to be a one hit wonder, right? Like there's a ton of investment, obviously from our, the people above me, our administration, but now the community's really engaged. And, um, and I, th I think the sky is the limit for where we can go, even though it will look different. I mean, I got seven freshmen coming in. That's, you know, there goes my summer. <laughs> um, uh, Coach B says all the time to everyone involved, like, you know, we had the Ivies last summer. We all got to go back to work this summer uh, with a bunch of, uh, you know, young kids coming in. But we're super excited about the trajectory of the program. And uh, we got to keep working because no one's going to hand anything to us. And, in fact, there'll be more of a target on our back. But we're really excited about, you know, where we're going from here. Other questions for Coach Gottlieb? Thank Coach, you all. thank you very much for thank your you. time. Thank and you. Congratulations on a great season. Thank you.